So for today, we're going to be looking at the seasonal challenges for the first week of the season of the Risen slash uh, Witch Queen expansion. I've, we've been waiting for this for a while. I should. This should be the first video I do. I've recorded a couple already. This one should be the first one that goes up. Um, and then I'll have Everse. I'll have the first mission, second mission, so on and so forth. I don't want to put too much content out in one day. So two to three videos will be the maximum that I will be doing uh, for Destiny 2. And then maybe other games as well. Because again, I've been working on other games as well. Uh, I'll most likely may have to make a video on explaining like what content I'm going to be making for what games. But just know that destiny 2 will not be a game that i stop playing uh i may stop playing it as much as i used to but this game will still be a game i play um so if you guys like the video like comment subscribe let me know, let me know what you guys think about the, about the expansion are you guys thinking about playing it are you liking it let me know in the comments below but let's get right into it so psychogenic decoder collect psychogenic intel by playing strikes gambit crucible public events and more collect risen umbral energy by decoding runic chests in psyops battlegrounds that's cool uh this one's not gonna be too hard this is literally gonna be the bread and butter of what you're gonna be doing within the season slash expansion so again this one sh you should get it pretty fast uh the informant informant reach rank 15 with finch in sabathun's throne world we just met finch not too long ago uh I'll have the episode that I meet him in if you guys are curious, but this one's not going to be too hard. It might be a little time consuming, maybe if you can do it within a day. I don't know. I've already got the first one, apparently. Uh, Operational Elbrus week one. Complete week one of Operation Elbrus and defeat com combatants with machine guns in PSYOP Battlegrounds. Uh, this one's not too hard. Again, this is most likely going to be within the season, what you have to do. Uh, complete three evidence board investigations this is actually within mars so this also shouldn't be hard this is most likely gonna like i know i keep saying this but this is most likely going to be what you're going to be doing within this this expansion uh, taking all challenges complete weekly playlist challenges this one is actually not hard at all all you really have to do is do pvp uh wait a minute it's not showing up usually it doesn't you know what whatever um i'm guessing you have to get this get the weekly bounties for this and then you'll be able to get your uh your weekly com completion for that for uh for him for so for gambit crucible and vanguard as well so that's what i'm guessing it's asking you to do because usually the the playlist would tell you like oh you can get a so and so from this uh in throne world complete bounties and earn progress by completing patrols public events and looting set law sectors again this one is literally what you're going to be doing in the expansion within the witch queen so you're already most likely going to be doing this most likely actually now that i think about it you won't be doing patrols or public events looting law sectors you probably will be doing which is probably what i'm going to be doing because that's just going to be faster than anything else in this list so law sectors will probably be the one i tell you to do Calibrate mid-range weapons, hand cannons, auto rifles, fusion rifles, and machine guns in the throne world. Bonus progress for rapidly defeating combatants. This one's not going to be hard as well, considering rapidly defeating enemies is not going to be hard with the weapons that it tells you to do. So again, this one's not hard at all. Uh, complete gambit matches, earn bonus progress for wins. This one might be a little challenging and annoying for some people, considering people don't like gambit. But do remember that gambit got an overhaul, so... There is a lot of changes and there's also solo queue. So if you want to just solo queue, you can do that. Uh, for Crucible, defeat guardians and momentum control or bonus progress with zoned advantage. This one's super easy as well. Uh, 75 guardians is not a lot in the grand scheme of things considering one headshot with most weapons will one tap people because again, momentum control, people have low health. And last but not least, defeat Hive Combatants in Vanguard Playlist or Strikes. Earn bonus progress for defeating tougher combatants. This one might be annoying for some people, but I do believe that this week it's actually a good um, nightfall for that. It is, yeah, the Scarlet Keeps, which is literally Hive. So this one's going to be super duper dope for a lot of people because, again, you're, there's already going to be Hive in there. Um, unfortunately... You will have to get pretty high in order to actually do the nightfall so if you want you could probably just do it through the vanguard ops 
but I would most likely actually go to the moon and actually pick it from here because it actually still does count or it should count. So that's pretty much it for the challenges, I think. Yeah, that's pretty much it for the challenges. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. I unfortunately did not complete last season's challenges. I just got really lazy and didn't complete it. And I didn't want to do uh, Crucible, which I had to do like the, what's it called? I forget what it's called. And I, I don't like playing that uh, survival. I had to do survival and I was like, I don't want to do that ever. So no. So let me know what you guys think in the comments below. If you guys want to follow me on my social media, all the links are in the description below. What do you guys think about uh, Witch Queen so far? I know it's the first day, but how are you feeling it? Let me know in the comments below. If you guys want to follow me, I think I already said that. Either way, I'll see you guys later.